Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Darren, also DRWise86 on Twitch and YouTube, and WiseS1986 on Mixer. So of course today we're going to be talking about the Elgato HD60S. Uh, this is a capture card used mostly for external, and a lot of PC gamers actually use it too. As you can see on here, it's very easy to set up. I'm just going to go through it really quickly. I've got it set up over here, so I'm not going to unplug it. The USB-C just plugs straight in, and you go straight into your PC, and that's how everything is captured. The HDMI in, that comes from your console or your PC, from the graphics card of the, pro of the PC or from the uh, console itself. And then there's an HDMI out on the other side that goes straight to your monitor, and there's very, very low latency. I haven't noticed anything at all. It's been fantastic. Fantastic. You also have this auxiliary cable if you want to hook up to your phone or something like that, play some music on your stream, or if you have a mixer, something like that, so you can very easily incorporate that into the stream. So that's very nice, very easy, very good product, and it's very easy to get set up. Today I wanted to bring you something that I couldn't find anywhere else on the internet. Nowhere on YouTube, nowhere on Reddit. There's something out there that no one is telling you about the Elgato HD 60S capture card. Uh, I stream on Twitch as DRWise86 and also on Mixer as WiseS1986. And what I've been doing is using the Xbox app to, in order to capture the video. It's not a really great option to be honest, so I went ahead and purchased the capture card. One thing that I've always been concerned with on this capture card is that it says that you need a quad-core processor. The way that I've actually been streaming is I have an older laptop, it's two to three years old, it has a seventh generation i7 processor. The problem is that it is number one, a mobile processor, and problem number two is that it's a dual core. So all of the recommendations from Elgato say that it requires an i5 um, quad core processor minimum. In fact, as you can see right here, it shows that they recommend a 4th generation quad-core Intel i5 CPU. Now, I have a 7th generation i7, and it's only a dual-core. So, if you scroll down here to the bottom, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It even goes on to say, to use the basic function of the Elgato Game Capture HD60S, including video capture and editing, your CPU needs to be multi-core. It needs to have four or more cores. Well, I'm currently going to show you that you can certainly use the car on a dual core processor. I'm currently just using Streamlabs OBS in order to do the overlay for this video. And it's only taking about 28 to 27 percent of the CPU usage. Now it's encoding the video as I'm recording this. So this should be roughly about what you're going to see and it's roughly what I see whenever I'm streaming to Twitch. So around 30 percent, normally it's actually around 25 percent as it settles in a little bit, is about the CPU usage that I see from Streamlabs OBS whenever I'm streaming to Twitch. So what I'm going to try to do for you now is go ahead and start up the Elgato software so that way you can see how demanding it is, number one on startup and while it's capturing some video from the Xbox One. Let's see if we can go ahead and get it to start up. In the past, I've seen it pretty much immediately max out the CPU, as you can see it's doing now, and as it's preparing to get everything going, let me get Task Manager back on top for you. So now it's pushing 30%. Now we've got some actual video coming through. It's down to 25%, now 35 As you can see, it's far more demanding than Streamlabs, and Streamlabs is what's being used to record this video. Look, now it's pushing up to 47%. Um, like I said, Streamlabs is encoding this entire video, whereas the Elgato software is literally just capturing the Xbox picture. So as you can see, it is very, very intensive on your hardware. I'm capturing my Xbox One. I don't have it maximized because I want you to still be able to see Task Manager here. But as you can see, my OBS software is capturing my Xbox One and it's using the Elgato card. Now, it's only using it as a video capture device straight through OBS. I'm not using that super heavy Elgato software. And as you can see, Streamlabs OBS is still only running about 33% and it's encoding a video right now. It's actually listening to my audio, it's doing the overlay, and it's doing everything that it's going to be doing while you're streaming except for automatically uploading to the internet. But it's doing all that encoding. So as you can see, OBS is way more efficient than Elgato software and I can certainly use this Elgato capture card using OBS and just not using Elgato's bloated software. So it's certainly something that can be done and it actually makes your stream run 10 times smoother because your stream is all CPU usage. It's all encoding this video and so without using Elgato's very very bulky software you can easily use the Elgato HD 60S while you just using it straight through OBS and not using their proprietary software.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. Like I said, I made the video because I wanted to make sure that other people knew something that I could not find on the internet. I couldn't find it on Reddit or any other YouTube video that the Elgato HD 60S can certainly be used on a processor that doesn't have four cores, even though Elgato specifically tells you that it does. You're just going to have to use something like your OBS software in order to use that capture rather than that proprietary software, which is very, very bloated and slows down your computer and ultimately would probably make you have some issues. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you're having any issues with your card, please let me know in the comments. I, Since I have one now, I'll definitely try to set up my, co my card in the same way that you have and see if I can duplicate whatever issue you have and hopefully help you out with it. All my social media is listed below. I stream on Twitch and YouTube and Mixer uh, about five nights a week. So please follow me there on Twitch. Uh, I got a promotion going right now. So I'm trying to get up to 50 followers for every follower. I'll do 10 push ups. So if you want to make me sweat it out a little bit, definitely shoot me a follow on Twitch. And um, Please subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. And um, like I said, give a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Please comment. Uh, just shoot in comments is really nice as well. Um, any sort of concerns or any sort of criticism on the video. Like I said, I'm just kind of starting out and thought this would be a lot of fun and hopefully help some people out. But positive or negative comments, I try to respond to all of you. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, guys.